Hello YouTube, today we are going to be talking about the Bose Mani Rainbow Fish, so stay tuned. So I've never really done a species profile video before, and this is probably going to be the closest I'll ever get, and I don't even know that it's something that I will continue to do. Uh, I did have some requests for these fish, so that's what I'm doing. People wanted it, so I'm bringing it to you. Uh, here they are. If you don't know the Bozmani, they are the half yellow, kind of bluish silver fish in there. The males and the females look almost the same, just not as colorful. You see them swimming around in there. There's two males in there and four females. Now we can talk about just some basic info. They definitely like more protein in their diet. So frozen, live, freeze dried. Uh, they will accept just about anything though, but those are going to be what's best for them if you really want to get the best color. Uh, the problem with these fish is that when you see them in a fish store, they just don't look that good. These are really high quality rainbow fish bred from Gary Lang's personal stock. So these are going to look a lot better than what you're probably used to seeing in a fish store. And I do have some of those as well. And we can take a look at those right now. So when we check out my 125 gallon rainbow fish tank, these are all rainbow fish from pet stores. And you can clearly tell the difference. Here's a Bozmani rainbow fish from a pet store uh, just way more bland there's a few more in here here's a nice big one right here uh, that might be it there's a third male in here somewhere if i remember correctly here's a female back here there goes a male there's a female this is actually not a bad looking female for a florida farm bred fish and that's kind of the problem that we run into with rainbow fish is the florida farms have just bred these things to be kind of kind of ugly to be honest this is not an ugly fish by any means but when you compare it to like the color on these fish here it just doesn't compare this is way more orange way more vibrant the front end of the fish way more colorful and even the females that is a really good looking female right there and all four of them just look really good as far as the females go so as far as water parameters these are very very forgiving fish uh, these are collected this particular strain right here is collected uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but I'll throw it on the screen there. The water in this lake is 6.5 pH, but they've also been collected from other lakes where the pH is as high as 9. So, very wide variety of water conditions. Not too fussy at all. They will do well in just about anything. Great, great uh, community fish. But like I said, the problem is, is when you see these in pet stores, they're not going to look like this. They're going to be small, right around 2 inches. They're not going to have any color and you kind of have to imagine what they're going to look like because it can take up to and even longer than 12 months to get full potential out of these guys and these aren't even done growing these will need to be upgraded into a larger tank soon so they definitely appreciate planted tanks you can see i pretty much have this tank just packed full of plants and it kind of takes up a lot of their swimming space that's why i say i need to get these into a 55 or a 75 once they get this size they're really going to want uh, a four foot footprint and not this this is a 40 breeder so it's only three feet wide it is kind of deep though, so it helps a little bit at 18 inches. However, they are a really active species, especially when you have a bigger school of them, and they will definitely want that four feet of swimming space. So these definitely need to be upgraded pretty quickly. All right, so anybody that knows me knows that I love doing my tank maintenance while shooting my videos. Today is no different, so we're gonna take a quick pause for this station identification, and we'll check back in after this water is filled back up. And now, on with the show. All right, we are back. We got the tank full. We got most of the algae cleaned off the glass, the front of the glass clean. Hopefully these are looking better. So let's pick up, let's talk about temperature. So like pH, uh, temperature, wide range of temperature too. And the Bose Mani can actually go into a higher, like low 80s. I probably wouldn't go over 83. The tank right now sits at about 80 because the fish room is 81. Oh, where'd they go? Pretty much all day long it drops a little at night but you know it's 100 degrees outside so but i have kept them as low as 74 75 is where they sit during the winter oh come on guys so ph six and a half to upwards of nine temperature 75 to 82 like i said they are great community fish however they are very boisterous so you can see after the water change they are the only fish out here now there's some pristilla tetras up here but rainbow fish don't care about nothing. They're like honey badgers. They're very boisterous, so if you have smaller, uh, more shy fish, 
They're probably just going to hang out in the plants, like all of mine here. These neon tetras, they rarely come out. Uh, the, the rainbow fish are just really fast. They flash a lot. So they kind of, they're, they're a little intimidating, but they wouldn't hurt a fly. Well, actually, they'd probably eat a fly, so I take that back. So there you go. Pretty simple, easy fish to care for. They're just a little bit expensive, and the problem is, is when you go to a fish store, they'll have maybe six different types of rainbow fish, and they'll all look the same. Do yourself a favor. Take out your phone. Google what they'll look at, and you'll understand why they fetch such a high price, because in my opinion, this is one of the best-looking fish uh, in the aquarium trade. Definitely. Look at them flaring like that. I mean... Super active, super peaceful, super colorful, schooling fish. You can't go wrong. Do yourself a favor and definitely get yourself some rainbow fish. So there you go, folks. The Bozmani rainbow fish. Definitely a top three all-time rainbow fish for me and probably the ambassador of the rainbow world. I mean, everybody loves this fish. Fun fact, these are actually on the CARES species list, which means they are either endangered or extinct in the wild. We know they're not extinct in the wild, so they are endangered with some sources saying that at the peak, upwards of a million of these fish were being harvested out of the wild a year, which is crazy. So that means I need to get to breeding these fish so we can stop collecting them out of the wild and help spread around that rainbow love. I don't know how that's gonna sound, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about rainbow fish, be sure to leave them in a comment below. I'll definitely answer all questions that are asked. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see everyone hopefully Monday on the live stream.